Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hey everyone here to our update of COVID-19 testing uh, here at Legion Field and, and also Census 2020. I'm William Parker, uh, President of Birmingham City Council. I want to welcome everybody out. I uh, want to especially thank our, our media partners here and thank all of those that are, are listening and tuning in. Uh, real quick, what we're going to do is um, make some brief remarks from the call of Dr. Hicks. Uh, in, in Dr. Hicks' uh, report, um, if you have any questions at that point for Dr. Hicks, because of time schedules, if you could ask those questions of Dr. Hicks, and uh, we could then proceed on with uh, Reverend Bass and the other pastors here. And uh, so we can go from there. But I simply just want to tell everyone thank you uh, for all of the help in, in our efforts to flatten the curve as relates to COVID-19. Uh, You're going to hear a report from, from Dr. Hicks. And after his report, we'll come up and talk more about the census. Uh, Councilor Hilliard is here as well. And we'll talk more about the census 2020. So Dr. Hicks, you want to come on up and get started? Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. You know, we've been going pretty strong here at Legion Field for uh, several weeks. Uh, we're pleased that the, the general public has come out and supported this site. For the past a week or so, we have seen a slight decline in the number of um, individuals coming to get tested, but we still have a steady stream. So we still want to just make sure everybody knows that we're still here um, available for the public. You have to call that 992 COVID number uh, for an appointment um, and make sure everybody is, and from the community is served. We know that right now in Alabama, we're looking at children going back to schools. We're looking about you know fall sports and a lot of different things that are going on. And so we want to make sure that there's a lot of testing available throughout the community just in case there's an increased demand, in case there's more cases that come up. We don't know what's going to happen, but we want to just make sure there's sites. So just as we've had the successful site at Legion Field, uh, we are certainly looking um, at other opportunities to do additional sites uh, throughout the, the region. So I think uh, hopefully moving forward in the next couple of weeks, we'll give, make other announcements uh, for a, a, a potential additional testing sites uh, as well. Um, and so that no matter which part of the county you are in, there's hopefully will be a site that's not too far from you to, avail yourself to. So if there's any questions, I'll take those now. All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Hicks, and I want to appreciate and, and uh, thank the Jefferson County Health Department uh, for their uh, leadership in making sure that they're providing us uh, guidance in the medical uh, professions to help as we guide and, and move through uh, the COVID-19. Uh, real quick before I call up Councilor Hilliard, just want to emphasize and kind of pivot to, we have another uh, urgent matter we're dealing with, and, and that's with the Census 2020. Uh, as we move forward with the deadline uh, now being September 30th, we need to encourage all residents, citizens, please, please, please make sure you participate in the Census 2020 uh, that is now underway. Uh, the deadline now is September 30th. We need you to go online, fill out, or I'm sure you have received at least six or seven different postcards uh, in the mail. Or simply call 1-844-330-2020. And, and it takes about five or six minutes. So if you're at home now, or if you're listening when you get home tonight, please participate in the Census 2020. We have so much at stake. There are billions and billions of dollars at stake uh, if we, you know, as it relates to the, um, the funding uh, from Congress uh, and over the next 10 years, you know, Alabama has close to six to seven hundred billion dollars of funding at stake, whether that's funding for transportation, uh, for our parks, uh, for Medicare, Medicaid, a lot is at stake here. And so from the city's perspective, from the city council's perspective, you're going to see a very aggressive approach to make sure that we have 100 percent participation from the citizens of the city of Birmingham. Right now we're at about 58 percent. We need to be at 100 percent. And so we have a lot of work to do over the next two months, but we're going to do all that we can. We're going to double down on our efforts. Uh, you'll see more uh, community engagement, and we'll be rolling those matters out uh, starting next week. But we're going to make sure that we get that number up to 100%. Uh, that's what we have to do. If 
we're going to make sure that we receive those federal funds uh, over the next 10 years. And we're talking about billions and billions of dollars at stake. Uh, and so we're going to need everyone uh, to participate in that process. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we move forward. But at this moment, I want to call up my colleague, Councilor Hilliard, uh, to come up and share a few words. Uh, thank you, Councilor Hilliard. Thank you, President Parker. I want to say to Bishop Bass and his organization, to the Health Department, and all of my colleagues, and all of you, you all have made this a great success and actually given exposure and opening up Legion Field. We want more people to come out. It is very important that you get tested. You understand uh, they're open here, so we want more people to come out and get involved. On behalf of the Birmingham City Council, I'm making a call for all 99 districts. You said you wanted testing in your community. Now is the time. I just want to switch to the census. It is so important for us here in Birmingham, we must take ourselves as a committee of one and start reaching out each to each and every person around us and ask them to get registered. That will determine how federal dollars are flowed to our community. Please, please reach out to your constituents, to your neighbors, to your friends, and to your colleagues, and use the power of media of what you have to encourage people to get involved. I want to say thank you, President Parker. Thank you, Bishop Bass, and your organization, and the Health Department, and all other partners for what you do. I'm John Hillier, District 9. Thank you so much. Thank you, Counselor. Just a quick more, a couple of uh, more shout outs before we call up. Uh, uh, Bishop Bass and, and, and uh, to, for, for a few words. We want to thank uh, City of Birmingham, thank Mayor Woodfin, Birmingham Strong, the Birmingham City Council, the Birmingham Park Board, all the other city uh, agencies. Uh, it's been an all hands on deck uh, as we've been working through this. I want to thank the media again and again. We appreciate what you do. You're allowing us to provide the messaging out so the residents understand the importance of not only the testing but also participating in the census 2020. So I definitely want to give you all a shout out. Uh, so with that, Herb Bass, I'm going to come up and share a few words. Uh, first of all, let me give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who does all things well. And let me also thank God for the partnership uh, here at the Legion Field site. Certainly, Dr. Uh, President Parker and Councilman Hilliard, who has been on the battlefield with us from day one. We're thanking God for uh, Dr. Higgs, uh, who has been as an angel sent from the Lord, and the rest of our partners. Uh, let me say Legion Field test site is open five days a week uh, from the hours of 9 a.m. to the hours of 4 p.m. We are seeing those who have insurance and those who don't. Let me apologize also to all of our communities, praise God, who came out about two weeks ago and if you didn't have insurance, you weren't able uh, to be seen. That has been fixed, that has been corrected. We are asking all of our communities, all 99 communities, uh, to come out to the Legion Field test site and be tested. Uh, let me also say that COVID-19 is a killer, and we need help to prevent this disease, this virus, from further killing anybody in our community. We're asking, uh, praise God, from the White House to the Governor House, the Mayor's House, City Councilmen's, county commissioners, all elected officials, to help us in fighting this virus. We need help uh, in, in the way of funding. We need money for new sites so that all of our neighborhoods can be uh, protected. We also need you to provide good leadership. We're asking, praise God, the powers that be, uh, not to send our people to the slaughter. How many people will have to die before we do something about this? We still, amen, stand firmly on the fact that we open up our country too soon. When we look at the numbers, over 47,000 new cases since we opened back up, over 155,000 have died, 30 states see an increase in cases, with Arizona, Florida, and Alabama leading the way. In Alabama right now, the ICU beds in Montgomery are full. I see you beds in Tuscaloosa full, in Birmingham they are about 95% uh, percent full as it relates to COVID-19. And they are predicting that over 220,000 will die by the end of this month in our country. 
we need good leadership. We are not getting it from the White House. We're not getting it from the Governor House. We need good leadership. President Trump, praise God, is pushing our children back out into the school system. Uh, that is not right. Uh, treating, uh, amen, praise God, are threatening to uh, stop funding if they don't go back to school. That's not right. We have a model right across the street there in Georgia. There was a, there was a place there, amen, that had a camp. Over 260 kids left that camp with COVID-19. In uh, Winnett County Public School System, they met to organize for the upcoming school year. They now have 260 teachers at home quarantine. In this city, in uh, the Winona High School area where they met for football practice, when the kids left the football practice, some of them left with COVID-19. In the Bessemer City School System, they met for planning. And uh, praise God, they have COVID-19 in their administrations, in their office. We don't hear much about that because now it is about a dollar over a life. We need help for more test sites. We need all of our elected officials to be held accountable for every decision that they are making. And finally, we're asking you to make sure that you stay safe, come out to Legion Field and be tested so that you and your family can be safe. If the children are able to, amen, to fight the virus, no one really knows that. They're saying that they are asymptomatic. Most of them will fight the virus. But if they get the virus, what are they going to do with it? They're going to take it home to their mothers and to their fathers and to their grandparents, amen, and to their uncles and their cousins. Somebody's going to die. And we ask all of our elected officials to be held accountable and make the right decision. Legion Field is open for all of our communities, and we are fighting the fight, amen, life over a dollar. Uh, Dr. Harris will calm down. First of all, let me say thank you to Dr. Bass, to our city council president, uh, William Parker, also to Councilman Hillier. I want to speak just a moment uh, briefly on what Dr. Bass and Dr. Parker and Councilman Hillier has spoke on. We're asking all 99 neighborhoods of Birmingham, Alabama to come out to Legion Field. This test site was a test site that is in our community. It's here for us. As Dr. Bass has spoken to the numbers that are going up uh, in the state of Alabama, but not only in the state of Alabama, across this country. And we just want to make sure that we are doing all we can in our community, in the city of Birmingham, in Jefferson County, to make sure that the residents of this city, this county is safe and that they have the proper testing of facilities. So we have, uh, along with the city council, along with the partners that be, uh, God has blessed us to bring this facility here. And we asking you to come out and be tested uh, while this facility is here. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. If there are any questions or anything, or, or I just want to kind of wrap up. I want to thank everybody for, for, for being here. But I just want to give out a challenge. We know there's a, one billion to three billion, three trillion dollar, I'm sorry, package moving through Congress. Congresswoman Sewell, Senator Doug Jones, Senator DeShelby, the administration, the White House, we need funding. We need dollars in the city of Birmingham. We need money to help uh, to make sure that we have the necessary funding to make sure we have testing through the end of December 2020. It's very, very important, it's very vital that we receive that funding, also from the county commission, also from the state of Alabama. We need part of that $1.8 billion in Montgomery, a part of that $115 million is over at the county. We know that UAB is one of our partners and they're doing a great job on testing countywide, but we need to focus on making sure testing sites are on at least five to seven days a week and what we're looking at is how do we make sure we have testing sites available on Saturdays and Sundays to service all 99 neighborhoods. That's gonna be the key. It's gonna be testing, testing, and more testing, at least through December of 2020. So we're gonna need additional funding dollars. So we're gonna be calling on our county commissioners, the governor, and also our federal delegation as well. We need additional dollars to make sure that we can have sufficient testing sites that will service the community, not just pop-up tents, those are great, 
for where you service things for two or three hours. We need it seven days a week, yeah. including Saturdays and Sundays on an ongoing basis uh, so we can make sure the residents have an opportunity and those that want to be tested and need to be tested have the availability to, uh, to, to be able to do that. So with that, um, just want to kind of wrap up again. Census 2020, call 844-330-2020 or go online or fill your, your paperwork out that's coming in the mail. These things are so vitally, vitally important. And next week we'll have more to say as it relates to our rollout of our community engagement, uh, not only for the Census 2020, uh, but also as it relates to uh, increasing our efforts to make sure that we can have testing available to residents in all 99 neighborhoods through at least December of 2020. So with that, if there are any questions, uh, if not, I want to thank you all, uh, thank the media, thank you those that are listening, uh, and we need you to make sure you do your census, make sure you stay safe. So at that, this point, are there any questions or anything? And if not, um, uh, we'll have a closing prayer. Praise God. Before we give our prayer, uh, we do want to thank Clergy Concern for the community uh, incorporated for everything that they are doing. We have been out here this week manning the site doing uh, the lead work as it related to as it relates to traffic control. Thank you so much. As it relates to traffic control, uh, you look around, you'll see at least 20 to 30 of us out here, pastors, overseers, bishop, in the community, in our neighborhoods, doing what is necessary, not just sitting behind a desk and talking about the situation. We are about it. And so I give honor to God for every clergyman who has stepped up to the challenge. Uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we honor you as El Shaddai. You are the almighty God. You are the all-sufficient God. Besides you, there is none other. We acknowledge that, amen, O oh God, you have all authority and you have all power. We acknowledge, our Father, that you can handle any situation. This is not the first pandemic that has come on earth. Every pandemic that has ever come before this one, Lord, you handled that, and we know that you can handle this. We ask now in the name of Jesus Christ that you would forgive us of our sins and all of our transgressions. We pray, Father, that you would create within us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Position us, O oh God, that our witness may be effective about the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But living, he loved us and dying, he saved us, buried, he carried our sins for away. And then rising, he justified us and freed us forever. Oh God, we come against every evil spirit that has come against our land. We bind it right now and we send it back to the very pits of hell. We call all of your people back, amen, under your authority. We ask, oh God, right now that they get back in order so that this virus can pass us. We give your name all glory, we give it all honor, and we give it all the praise as we work together as one community uh, to make sure that we save life. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.